Now today's practice in particular is going to focus on uh, a practice that's actually quite ancient. Um, this in particular one, I think it's like three to 4,000 years old. Sometimes I make these up, sometimes they come from the books. This one's called Neti Neti, and it means in a, if you translate it very loosely, it means not this, not that. So there's a point in our practice today where we'll be meditating on light in our bodies. And any thought, feeling, or distraction that comes to your mind, the goal is to disidentify with it. So I'll be asking you to repeat in your mind, I'm not that thought, I'm not that feeling, I'm not that distraction. And just keep doing that and doing that and doing that. It's kind of like swatting flies. Just like, go away, fly, go away, fly. <laughs> and what happens after a while of doing that is that the flies stop coming, the distractions stop coming, and all you're left with is, is the spaciousness. And the way that I like to equate this feeling to or get an understanding of what this really is, is everything that has happened to you since the moment you were conceived has been like putting on a bunch of clothes. You get identities, you get expectations, you get on obligations. Not that those any of those are bad in particular, but they're not who you are. Those are things you've collected for anything from your gender to your name to everything else. And so this light that we're meditating on when we're disidentifying with everything else is to get back to that spark of light that we truly are when nothing else exists. So hopefully that doesn't cause any existentialism in you. <laughs> hopefully that is a nice comforting place to be. It's like, oh, I, I don't have to identify with everything all the time. Sound good? All right. <laughs> good, good. So go ahead and get comfortable. Let your body relax, settling into your chair. Let your eyes close. And just take a couple of deep breaths in and out. And taking those deep breaths, just let your body start to relax here. Relaxing the face, your jaw, shoulders, arms, hands, belly, legs, feet. Reminding yourself that this time is time that you have set aside in your day to not have to do anything. That even if there are to-do lists and obligations, etc., that all of that can wait. For now, you're allowed to just be. And so allow that eye of awareness that's usually externally oriented, allow it to turn to the internal space of your system, starting with your body. Just scanning your body, just noticing what is here. Where do you feel comfort? Where do you feel discomfort, neutrality? Which parts of your body move? Which parts are still? And refraining from judging anything we're witnessing. Not even really having preference, just observing the body. What is here right now? And then becoming aware of your breath, that movement of the breath in your body. Is that a big movement? Is it a smaller movement? You don't need to change it. And 
Does the breath feel effortful or effortless? Does the breath feel smooth and continuous or does it feel like it stops at certain points? Does the length of your inhale feel longer or shorter than your exhale? And noticing how you feel energetically. Are you tired, exhausted, burned out, lethargic? Are you restless and hyper, anxious and frantic? Are you calm and steady and grounded? Are you all of the above? Some of the above? None of the above. And this awareness of the body, your breath, and your energetic state, notice your mind. Does it feel like your mind is moving around a lot? Does the mind feel slow and sluggish? Does it feel focused or unfocused? Again, we're not judging anything. We're just assessing what is the state of the mind? Is there an emotional charge or presence or lack of And noting even here at the beginning that all of these thoughts and movements of your mind, all these feelings and emotions, while they likely have some use, they are not you. You are not these thoughts or feelings. And to help us ground deeper towards that understanding, I'll have you bring your awareness back to your breath. And aware of the breath, we'll begin to even it out, making the length of your inhale and exhale the same. And you can achieve this by counting your breath, inhaling for a certain number of counts, and exhaling for an equal number of counts. And a count is whatever you use for internal measurement. It could be an estimated second, or the sound of a word or syllable, just do your best. Inhaling for a certain number of counts. Exhaling for an equal number of counts. Inhaling for a certain number of counts. Exhaling for an equal number of counts, helping to focus the mind, bring a sense of regulation to your nervous system.
Inhaling for a certain number of counts. Exhaling for an equal number of counts. If your mind wanders, just bring it back. And now that we have the breath evened out, we'll take this practice a step further by extending the breath. And so the idea here is that you'll add two to three counts to the inhale and two to three counts to the exhale, keeping the breath even. So for example, if you were before inhaling and exhaling for the count of four, now you'll try to inhale and exhale for the count of six or seven, just adding those couple of counts. And to make the breath longer, what I'll encourage you to do is to slow down the intake of breath on inhale and slow down the output of breath on exhale to reach those higher counts. Just take your time, allow the breath to be more subtle as it comes in and out. Inhaling for an extended count. Exhaling for an equal extended count. Continuing for about another minute or so with this extended breath. Now, keeping your breath slow and steady, release the counting. And so essentially, the breath doesn't change at all. You're just no longer counting the breath. And as you are breathing slowly and steadily, notice the gentle pulsing of your body with your breath, slowly and gently expanding as you inhale, slowly and gently contracting as you exhale. The body gently expanding and gently contracting. And 
and see that space inside of your body that's pulsing. See it as light. Not a light from within, but your whole body is light. Pulsing outwards on inhale, pulsing inwards on exhale, slowly and steadily. aware of that pulsing light, allow it to feel quieter and calmer than before. Still breathing, but just subtler. that light it within. And allow this light allow it just to take over your consciousness, not in an aggressive way, but just that all there is, is this light. Nothing else exists. And when a thought or a feeling comes into your mind that is not this light, say in your mind, I am not that thought. I am not that feeling. I am not that distraction. You might imagine the thought dissolving in the presence of this light, or it just might fade away. I am not that thought. I am not that thought. I am not that thought.
I am not that thought. I am not that thought. You are this light. You are this light. And when you go back out into your world and start to re-identify with your roles, responsibilities, and various identities, know that you can always let those go to return to this spaciousness, this openness, this pure inner light, this pure spark. And feel your feet on the ground, your seat in the chair, clothing on your body, your breath gently moving in your body. When you feel ready, go ahead and take a deeper, fuller breath. Bring the palms together, rub them together. Taking the heated palms over your eyes. Brushing over the top of the head, down the neck. Slowly bringing yourself back from wherever you have been. <laughs> so that is the neti neti practice. It's again, this a disidentification with pretty much everything in order to return to that pure state of awareness. Um, always a good one to return to. So.